Hello guys, Rachel here for Archaeologist. Today, we're going to do the short unboxing and also reviewing the Sudoku SK700V Air Cooler. Let's do the unboxing. Inside the box, you will find a small box that contains the information and support documentation and user's manual, the grease cleaner and spreader, the thermal paste, the AM5 contact frame, screws, and hex screwdriver, a long screwdriver, and lastly, the Sudoku SK700V air cooler itself. Let's go to the specifications and features. The Sudoku SK700V has dimensions of 146 by 97 by 164 millimeters, with a weight of 1,353 grams. Sudoku is one of the brands that debuted during Computex 2025. They provide CPU cooling solutions and one of their products is the SK700V that comes in black and white and with or without digital screen. At the top is the small display area with 70.7 by 27.8 mm dimension. This will display some important information about your CPU. The top shroud is removable and it will also remove the fan. This is a very familiar mechanism like from Corsair's A115 air cooler, as it is using a railing system to install the fan. But it is much better because it has a proper borders to guide it to go in. At the back of the shroud are your contact pins so it can connect to the circuit which is on the top of the heatsink. The fan included is a 120mm fan that is using a fluid dynamic bearing. At the middle of the fan is the Sudoku logo, and this fan doesn't have any RGB lighting. The fan has a maximum speed of 2200 RPM and a maximum airflow of 66.29 CFM. Underneath the shroud of the SK700V, you will find some holes where you can just insert your screwdriver to tighten the screws for the mounting bracket. At the side of the heat sinks are plastic shrouds with the name of the cooler, which adds a little bit of aesthetic appeal to the overall design of the cooler. Let's talk about the heat sink itself. The design pattern of the front and back of the heat sink is very familiar. The front looks like it's from Corsair, and the back looks like it's from Deep Cool. Many of the reviewers like me pointed this out during Computex 2025 when this cooler was showcased. The SK700V has 7 heat pipes, each of the heat pipes having a 6mm diameter. The cold plate is made from copper with a nickel-like finish. The mounting bracket is using tension screws, so you won't over tighten them while mounting. The display uses a USB cable for it to display any CPU information. The fan can be controlled using the 4-pin fan cable. Sudoku also has a software named Mastercraft where you can monitor your CPU and GPU, the specifications of your PC, and turn on the display of the device you are using. It doesn't allow you to customize that much, but you can turn on and off the display and change the temperature display from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Let's install the air cooler.
Here are my final thoughts. The Sudoku SK700B is one of those coolers that immediately feels solid out of the box. The build quality is good, and you can tell it's made with performance in mind rather than just aesthetics. Speaking of performance, the SK700V really surprised me. Even though it's only a single tick heatsink, it holds its own against dual tower heavyweights like the AK620 Zero Dark and the Deep Cool Assassin 4, which I could say that the cooler design looks like. That says a lot about the engineering here, and it proves that bigger isn't always better. Insulation wise, on the other hand, is where things get a bit interesting. If you're used to CPU contact frames, the process is straightforward. But for first timers, it might be tricky unless you carefully go through the user's manual. There are also a few standout features that I really like. The zero RPM mode keeps things completely silent under light loads, which is a big plus if you value a quiet system. The heatsick design is also smartly made to avoid blocking RAM slots, so even tall memory modules fit just fine. Sudoku also added an anti-bend bracket that helps maintain proper CPU contact and protects the processor over time. A thoughtful addition, especially for long-term reliability. Of course, it's not all perfect. One thing I don't quite get is why it's only AM5 compatible. A cooler with this kind of performance could have been great for Intel or even older AM4 builds. Combine that with its premium pricing, and it might not appeal to everyone. And while I do appreciate the display, which is actually better than the Deep Coast Digital Air Coolers, the plastic shroud around it feels a little less premium, and almost toy-like, compared to other high-end options. Overall, the Sudoku SK700V is an impressive air cooler that delivers strong performance and useful features. But its limited CPU compatibility and premium pricing hold it back from being an easy recommendation for everyone. If you're on AM5 and want something that performs near the level of dual tower coolers without taking up as much space, it is definitely worth a look. You can buy the Sudoku SK700V air cooler for around $89.99 or 5,161 pesos at your nearest Sudoku affiliated online and physical stores. I hope this video is informational for you. For more videos, click on the subscribe button and follow my Facebook page. And see you in the next video.